Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is on the sandbag technique and I'm gonna go through the demo with you and kind of tell you what it is as well. Now sandbagging is very, very similar to baking, except with the difference being with baking, oftentimes what we're trying to do is create another highlight in the face. With sandbagging, even though it will do that, what we're trying to do is create a dam beneath your lower lash line. And the reason for that is think about what sandbags do. If you put loads of sandbags, um, say against your house and there's water coming in, the sandbags prevent the water from getting in the house. The same principle is true here. What we're trying to do is create a dam under the lower lash line so that any emollient products we use, whether it's in the waterline or outside of it, like cold pencils, gels, even some shadows, so that it doesn't um, move, it doesn't come down, it doesn't smear, it stays put the entire day. Sandbagging is also the same technique that's used underneath the lower lips and around the lips to keep everything in place, but I've got a different video for you on that. So what you'll need is a loose powder and a um, wedge sponge, and what you're gonna do is push this loose powder underneath the eye, but really high up. You want this powder to be right on and under the lower lash line because that's what we're trying to do so that everything we do from here on with our coals and our pencils and anything else that's creamy will no longer move. Now you can use a translucent powder, you can use a no color powder like RCMA, you can use a color powder, you can do what you want. Obviously if you use a no color powder, you're not really gonna get any of that excess highlight, but if you use one with a bit of color in, it's a bit lighter, then you can create that really beautiful highlight as well. So you pat it on and you leave it on the skin for a little bit of time, do your upper eyeshadow, then the rest will fall down. Then you will sweep it away. And the beauty of this, and this really, really does work in terms of stopping anything from that inner waterline and the outer edge of the eye from smearing. You will not get any movement with this. Now it's kind of worth noting that I have no idea who came up with this technique. It's probably so old, you've no idea. But I know that um, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, Mario, is probably most famous for it and deserves some credit where this is due. But that's the technique, it's very, very simple. You are pressing it into the lash bed, underneath the eye, you can go all the way down if you want. Then you're just knocking it off and everything is perfect. I'm sorry that the lighting has suddenly got brighter, but the sun has just come out, so I'm gonna go before I vanish. Thanks so much, bye-bye. Okay, so click this. You see this? Click my box. Now what, how good an offer is that? That's it, click my box. If you are suffering or have, you know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end and makes your face look, <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it, then click this box, that's, that's me, and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.